Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is how to set a practice routine. They say practice makes perfect. I say practice makes permanent. Permanent muscle memories, that is. And that's because each time we play guitar, we create a memory, particularly in our muscles and tendons, which is ultimately stored in our brain. So that each time we play, for example, the A chord, our brain triggers our fingers to go to the placement on the neck of the guitar that we've learned because we've played it before. The more you play it, aka practice, the stronger your muscle memories become and the better and easier you'll be able to play the A chord. The same thing applies for strumming, picking, tablature, other chords that you're working on, you name it, whatever you're working on on your guitar. Now, as human beings, we are creatures of habit. So why not establish a routine of practicing that can become a habit? I've got three easy steps to help you set up your own practice routine. One, figure out the timing. So start by choosing the same time for your practice session. So for example, 7 p.m. every day or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you want to make sure you figure out your frequency as well. Maybe you're a morning person, so you set up your time for 6.30 in the morning or whatever fits into your schedule. Set the amount of time and be specific and realistic. Ideally, 20 to 30 minutes is wonderful, but I'll tell you what, even if you just have 15 minutes every day to devote to playing guitar, you will see a definite improvement in your playing. Decide when you want to start. Ideally, I vote for today, maybe tomorrow, and then grab your calendar and block out those days and times that you've decided you want to use as your practicing time. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my unlimited lessons, classes, and courses, and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. Number two, you need a game plan. So map out how you want to use your practice session time. For example, maybe you want to play chord progressions and then rhythm patterns before you start playing songs. Or maybe you want to warm up with your easy schmeasy songs before you jump into your more challenging songs and or newer songs that you're working on. You get the idea, but what you want to do is have a game plan, map out how you want to practice. And then number three, once you've set up a schedule and a playing session plan, then you want to try this out for 30 days. And this is the super important part of this. Don't skip any practice sessions. It's been said that it takes 21 times for something to become a habit. So in theory, at the end of the 30 days, it will have become a habit. So how about it? Are you ready to try this out? Let's call this your 30-day challenge. What I want you to do right now is grab a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Now that you have your paper and writing utensil, what I want you to do is write down your practice time ideas. So how much time you want to devote to it, your frequency. For example, 30 minutes every day from 4 to 4.30 p.m. 
Now on that same piece of paper, map out how you'd like to use your practice time, chord progressions and picking patterns to warm up with before you play your songs or easy schmeasy songs and then more challenging songs, whatever game plan you want to map out for your practice session. All right, now when do you want to start your 30-day challenge? Today? Tomorrow? Figure that out so that you can map it out on your calendar. The next thing you want to do is grab your calendar and block out those days and times that you're going to practice and block it out for the next 30 days. All right, now you're ready to rock your new practice routine. And before you know it, your practice routine will become a habit. And bonus, my favorite part, your guitar playing will improve simply because of the consistency and repetition. And remember, practice makes permanent. Permanent muscle memories, that is. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.